Praise the mighty Jesus. I welcome you to this 10 minutes with God today in Jesus' name. On the 1st of January 2023, we started this YouTube channel 10 minutes with God. And today is the 31st of December 2023. We are continuing and we are marching on. All those who are subscribed, the mighty God that asked me to start this new channel, He will visit you with His power and with His divine connection in Jesus' name. Already testimonies are coming in of what God is doing through this channel. If you still have your testimony there, you can share it in the comment section below or you can send it directly to me and I'm going to share it. Today I'm talking to us about what praising the Lord does. What praising the Lord does. And I'm taking this story from the book of Genesis 29 from 31 to 35. What I'm sharing with you is an exposition. Many people don't share this kind of verses that I share and don't bring out the implication like I do. In verse 31 of Genesis 29, he said, When the Lord saw that Leah was unloved, he opened her womb, the Rachel was barren. So Leah conceived, you can see, Leah was not loved, God opened her womb. We learn from there sometimes. When man is disfavoring you, if you look, most times people that man disfavor, they run to God and God hold them. When man is favoring you, if you have sense, what are you going to do? You run to God also so that God will not bring any evil against you. In this place, Leah was disfavored, was not loved by Jacob, but Rachel was loved. Leah cried to God, that God, look at me, my husband hates me. Rachel was there, say, ah, uh, come, you don't defend me, my husband, my lover. You didn't go to God because you didn't have problem. Whether you have problem or you don't have problem, please run to God. Please run to God. In the new year we are entering, whether you have problem or you don't have problem, if everything is good for you, run to God. If you are having problem, run to God. And God will answer your prayers as you run to Him in Jesus' name. So, I take that place again. Say, when the Lord saw that Leah was unloved, he opened her womb. The Rachel was barren. So Leah conceived and bare a son. And she called his name Reuben. For she said, The Lord has surely looked on my affliction. Now, therefore, my husband will love me. Did the husband not love her? No, he didn't love her still. What to make God or any a word praising God will do for you is what I want to tell you. She thought when she had a child for the man, the man will love her. The man did not love her. Let's go on. Then she conceived again and bare a son and said, Because the Lord has heard that I am unloved. In fact, she knew she was not loved. He said, Because the Lord has heard that I am unloved. He has heard that I was in love. He has therefore given me this son also. And she called his name. She called his name Simeon. She conceived again and bore a son and said, Now this time my husband will become attached to me. All the names she gave the children was related to the husband and her and love. Yet the husband did not love her. So there, there's something you need to that praising the Lord will do for you. This woman was looking for love, but she was looking for love in the wrong places. Let's go now. Because I have born him three sons. Therefore, he is the, his name was called Levi. And she conceived again and bore his son and said, Now I will praise the Lord. <laughs> ah! I think, I think something happened. The angel of God, God revealed to her, maybe in a dream. Maybe to a prophet that see all this thing you are doing. Better love God. I'm telling you, better praise God, I mean. Better praise God. Stop running after other things. Better praise God. Even if you are running after other things, make sure you praise God. You have children, praise God. She now understood the formula in this verse. She, she, and she conceived again and bore a son, the fourth son. Number one, she didn't understand. Number two, she did not understand. Number three, she did not understand. Number four, she understood. She now said, Nah, 
I will praise the Lord. Therefore she called his name Judah, then she stopped bearing. If you go to Genesis about 49, what happened to Reuben when, um, when Jacob was dying? What did he tell Reuben? He said, I will not excel. Simon and Levi, the second born, what did he tell them? He said, they are instruments of cruelty. He said, cause be their anger. He said, my soul, don't come into their place. Oh. What did he say concerning Judah? <laughs> he said, Judah, thou art him who thy brethren shall praise. <laughs> he said, Judah, you are the one your brethren will praise. What name did his mother call him? She called him praise. She called him Judah. She said, now will I praise God? When the father was dying, he now said, Judah, thou art him who thy brethren will praise. From Judah, blessing started downward. I've known this formula before I got married. So when I got married, my daughter is called Judah. My firstborn. My last born, my daughter is called Praise because she's a daughter. I can't call a girl Judah. The last born is a boy. I call him Judah. I wanted my daughter, my son, my child to be born Judah. The, so the first born, praise, it means Judah. The last born, Judah is a boy. Because I understand. It's loaded. They cannot go down. It is the word of God. It is the word of God. They can't go down. I know the formula. The name you give your child carries weight. Give your children great names, praise. This is what praising the Lord will do. He changed the destiny of our children. He changed the destiny of our, the story of our children. She said, now will I praise God? God said, you will praise me. He said, now will I also bless you? Now will I also bring praise into your life? Now will I also bring blessing to your life? Now will I also bring prosperity into your life? Go and check. Reuben, he went to sleep with his father's maid. Simeon and Levi, they went to meet the Abimelech or whoever, uh, second. They went to kill the dead when they went to, to sleep with Dinah. The Judah. Judah was the one when, Joseph, when they went to Joseph in Egypt. And they said, Joseph said, Joseph not even said to them, Joseph said, go and bring, uh, your last man will not go with you. Judah was the one. Go and read the epistle. Go and read the epistle. Read the Bible. Judah was the one. He was crying. If you read what Judah wrote, long story about the family, Judah said, I can't go back to my father. If I go back to my father and the way I see him, I'm able to tell him that Jacob is gone. I will tell him that Gentleman will not come. He's not coming back home with him. He said, I can't go and see the, 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 the weeping of my father. This was a man called Judah. This was a man called Judah. That's what prays to your life. Close your eyes and begin to thank God that God, I praise you. Let my life praise you. Let my life praise you. Let my life praise you, Lord. Let my life praise you. Father, let my life praise you. Who will I praise if it's not you? Who will I praise, Lord? Let my life praise you. Let my life bless you. Is it Judah? You are you. Oh God, let my life praise you. He said, Judah, you are the one, your brother will praise. He said, this scepter shall not depart from Judah, nor a Lord give up on between his feet. He said, unto shall not come, unto him shall be cut out of me. You don't pay the price. Prayer, thank God. Help me to pay the price. Ah, Allah.